Hi, Andres. Uh, I'm going to try and not uh, fanboy out here. But uh, quick question. Um, I've been in this space since 2016, and since our last influx of 2017, I feel like there was this secular movement where it was Bitcoin versus Ethereum. And I personally appreciate their differences, and I like them both individually for what they are. But however, I do feel that there is this very antagonistic, like, oh, my crypto is better than yours, X, Y, Z. I don't think that's healthy for the ecosystem, and I know you, you've spoken, in some cases, pro for Ethereum for certain reasons, and pro Bitcoin for certain reasons as well. Um, I just want to kind of ask you about how you envision them potentially working together symbiotically, and how do you feel this antagonism might be hurting uh, the crypto community? Uh, that's a great question. Um, I think this is a natural consequence of human behavior. We are tribal in nature, so we create little in-groups and out-groups, and then as soon as our in-group starts getting very successful, those of us who thrive on being the underdog create an inner in-group within the in-group, and call the other part of it heretics for not following the true vision of the founder, messiah, whatever. Right? And so you know, the revolution is barely succeeded when the counter-revolution arises from within. Yeah? And we've seen that happen in Bitcoin, in Ethereum. The funny thing is that each wave of this has barely gotten started before it finds that there's another wave right on its back. So it's like the um, Ethereum maximalists, like the flippening is going to happen. We're going to do everything that Bitcoin does, only better. And somebody comes up behind them and goes, "Eos, <laughs> where did you come from? <laughs> where is the next Ethereum? What? We're trying to beat these." Guys. And <laughs> and so the cycle repeats. You know. Uh, you're not representing the true vision of Bitcoin. We're going to represent the true vision in Bitcoin Cash. And what's happening in a month? Oh, there's an even truer true vision that is now going to fork off the true vision. I have no problem with any of this. This is the thing to realize, which is this is natural. This is a process of mutation, fragmentation, bifurcation, consolidation that is part of the churn of evolution. It is wonderful that we have in an open source environment a dynamic, vibrant, ideological environment where people can try out new ideas. And if I don't like the way you're taking the idea that we worked on together, I'm going to pick up my ball and go start my own game. In open source, there's more than one ball. We can have lots of balls and lots of games going on at the same time. The even better part is that anything somebody else invents, we can learn from and apply ourselves if we have the vision and flexibility of thought and openness to new ideas and the ability to overcome doctrinaire solid positions. Because if we ossify in our positions, we lose out. So then the question is, what happens next? Like when does this stop? And I'll tell you exactly when it stops. Within this room, there are factions. Within this room, there are Bitcoin weirdos, there are Ethereum weirdos, there are Bitcoin Cash weirdos, there are EOS weirdos, there might be some Tron people. I don't know. <laughs> it's like there is a lot of variety going on in here. But here's the news. To everyone outside here, we're just weirdos. <laughs> we're all the same weirdos. When it comes to the banks, when it comes to the banks, when it comes to the very serious economists who are trying to save the world from terrorism and money laundering, who are trying to regulate for your good, who are applying all of their paternalistic protectionist instincts to nanny you into safety and make sure you do not succumb to the temptation of free expression or anything like that. We're all weirdos, and not just that. We are dangerous, radical, perverse, terroristic weirdos who have decided that the law doesn't matter, the regulations don't matter, we shouldn't follow anything, and we're going to destroy law, order, and the goodness of society if we have our way. So what happens next is this. At some point, a backlash comes.
And that backlash will not discriminate between, oh no, we're, we're in a virtual machine for smart contracts that is Turing complete. They're like, weirdo, get him! <laughs> They're going to try to round up all the weirdos. They're going to attack any system that tries to deviate from the orthodoxy of carefully regulated financial systems that most importantly allow for these parasitic behaviors. And at that point, we are suddenly going to have a kumbaya moment, when suddenly we will all reunite in brotherhood around our own weirdness and realize once again that there is an enemy here, that there is a parasitic system that dominates the lives of 99% of the human population, and that we just want to do something different and have a choice. And for that, we will be ostracized and, and called names. And terrorists, drug dealers, pedophiles, pornographers in this room who are all using the anonymous dark web money, um, they are not going to discriminate. We will come together. We will see moments of coalition when we are attacked, just like any population. It's like If you want world peace, hope for aliens. That's the only way. <laughs> so, store value or medium of exchange. Store value or medium of exchange. First of all, this is a Bitcoin only question. Because among other things, what we're not looking at is the idea that crypto is more than just money applications. Right? So there's plenty of crypto whose primary application is not money. And I think we need to keep that in mind when we get to focused on our little side of the tribal question. Right? That's how you get religious schisms. That's how, like, do you know anything about religion in the United States? Probably not. Right? And you have, when I first arrived there, I found out these churches. It was like the, the United Seventh-day Reformed Secondary Methodist Evangelical Post-Modern Protestants. And I'm like, I've never heard of this one. <laughs> Tell me more. And inevitably, you get this story where it's like, well, do you know how there was two fishes and five loaves? Well, in 1783, some heretics in our church decided it was actually five fishes and two loaves. And that's when we had a schism from the non-Unitarian Seventh-day post-Methodist, pre-Unitarian evangelical post-modern Protestants, and we found the true path. <laughs> it's like, is that a really important position of doctrine? I mean, how big is your church? Well, there's only like 600 of us throughout the United States, but at least we have found the truth. So what happens to everybody else? Oh, they go to hell. <laughs> Can we not do that in crypto? Can we not do the... Because to everybody on the outside, it's like, it sounds like you're all on the same side. You're those weird people with the blockchains. They don't know the difference between... And you try to give them a doctrinal approach to this. right? I'm really tired of these doctrinal questions. What is the correct true church of Bitcoin? Is it store value or medium of exchange? Maybe for me it's different than for you. Maybe today it's different than tomorrow. And in the end, who cares? Try both and see which one works. Because to all of the people outside, we're just the block weirdos, right? And you sit down with someone and they say, "Oh, I heard you're involved in uh, blockchain. What do you do?" And they're like. Well, I'm uh, involved in Ethereum Classic, which, of course, as you know, is the one that maintains the immutability principle after the reentrancy bug of the DAO. And now we're committed to maintaining proof of work because, after all, we all know that proof of stake and the nothing at stake problem, as expressed in Casper the Friendly Ghost, will collapse the entire heretical cryptocurrency that calls itself Ethereum. <laughs> Like, is that a blockchain? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a blockchain. <laughs> but the right one. I'm not going to play those games. <laughs> Thank you.